Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to create uh, some pricing UI components for the design system that we have built uh, throughout this entire series. Now, you can follow just this one video in order to learn how to create uh, these pricing components, but uh, I'm also leaving the entire playlist where we're building this entire design system from scratch, uh, including color and textiles. And by the way, before we get started, I want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX design. So if you're interested in becoming a UI UX designer, um, feel free to check the link in the description. And you're also going to find all of the source files from these uh, design tutorials. But now let's get started. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to basically leverage this boiler template and uh, you can also remove uh, this guy right here since we don't need this uh, anymore. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start creating uh, the basic uh, pricing structure. So we're going to leverage this uh, rectangle and uh, we're simply going to make it uh, bigger in height bring it right here and uh, what we're gonna do next uh, is uh, we're going to start establishing uh, the basic structure so the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to simply copy and paste uh, this uh, textile right here let's bring it uh, right to the center and I'm going to duplicate it again in order to create uh, a second level of text uh, and uh, I'm going probably go with the regular let's give it a shot maybe it's a little bit too big uh, we already created textiles in uh, previous videos so we can essentially leverage uh, this uh, uh, textile that we already built and uh, we can decide which one we prefer the most all right so the very first uh, element uh, um, is going to be the premium plan and uh, let's uh, write below um, a brief description so i'm going to use a text uh, which is uh, a <laughs> free uh, software that basically enable you to create uh, um, associations of uh, uh, words to specific keyboard shortcuts that uh, you decide so it's a fancy way to create a uh, lorem ipsum text uh, or text that you use uh, often uh, in a very fast way but you can simply go on the Lipsum website if you haven't already so here lipsum.com and uh, as you can see you're going to be able to find like a lot uh, of uh, uh, lorem ipsum text that you can simply copy and paste there are also tons of plugins uh, uh, for placeholder such as content reel in figma and this is something that i mentioned in uh, one of my recent instagram posts as well so feel free to check it out and uh, let's go right here let's uh, probably use uh, another font style i'm duplicating this uh, in order to uh, basically have it at my disposal since I'm probably going to use it uh, uh, in just a moment. So here we go. We have uh, the premium plan. We have uh, our um, uh, basically basic description of this plan. And now what we're going to do is we're going to <clears throat> actually go ahead and add uh, a element on the top. So I'm going to duplicate this uh, uh, rectangle right here as you can see so I just use command C and command V to copy this uh, this element let's make it a little bit smaller let's uh, round up uh, the borders quite a bit and uh, the very next thing I'm, that I'm gonna do is I'm going to use uh, this uh, primary blue which uh, we previously created and uh, now at this point i can go ahead uh, and search uh, for a icon so let's go over here let's uh, try and find an icon which uh, is going to work well now another way that we can do it is to actually go into the icons page which uh, we previously created and simply have a look at uh, directly from here since uh, it's just going to make it easier on us uh, in order to find uh, uh, different icons and uh, and just to have like more choice uh, overall so in this case I'm going to go back uh, to my UI components after copying uh, this icon right here I'm going to make it uh, a bit bigger and I'm also going to change uh, the selection color so basically um, I'm going to go under fill or actually 
let's select let's deep select this icon so that we can actually change uh, the color directly from there and uh, here we go we have uh, our nice little icon and uh, now what we're gonna do is we're going to start having uh, almost like uh, a small checklist uh, of uh, elements uh, in order to uh, showcase the feature so feature one and we're going to actually have uh, a check mark icon so I mean, I'll look right here something like this could work uh, pretty well um, we could technically <clears throat> turn this uh, into a component into a variant um, I'm just going to keep it simple for the specific instance but uh, yeah that's definitely an option and something that uh, you should do if you're building this for a client for example so actually let's let's do uh, just that so component it's going to be check mark and uh, yeah we're going to essentially create a, a few copies of this let's bring it down just a little bit let's put vertical spacing and uh, here we have uh, our basic features we could consider having two columns of this and uh, let's group it all together center it and uh, yeah this is definitely something that uh, we could uh, easily do so let's just give it a little bit more breathing room and here we go so feature one feature two feature three feature four feature five and six uh, and i think we're good with just six features don't want to kind of like make make it too overwhelming overall and uh, here we go all right so far so good let's bring this right below we're also going to borrow one of these uh, lines from uh, the element above and uh, let's just uh, bring this to center let's bring this one below all right so far so good so we have this uh this little premium plan <laughs> going on for us and uh, let's try and make it a little bit bigger in width and at this point what we're gonna do next uh, is uh, we're going to start uh, adding uh, um, some other elements uh, <clears throat> which are going to essentially give us uh, a hint of the premium plan so first of all you guessed it the pricing so this one's going to be 99 97 maybe let's try and go with uh, a dark version a heading one uh bold that's a little bit too much in my opinion let's keep it like this and i'm also going to add the uh, price um so let's uh, say uh, per month all right this one's going to be 99.97 per month and uh, right below it we're going to write uh, or actually we're going to add uh, a button so let's go right here Inside this button, which uh, is going to say um, 30 day free trial or start 
your 30 day free trial. <coughs> and let's center this or let's say contact sales. So that in case they have any objections or questions, actually, they can easily contact sales and sort it out with them. All right, I think uh, at a good point, Let's just make this uh, bigger and let's uh, center this guy. And here we go. All right, so we have uh, our nice uh, pricing. Um, there's still something that doesn't look quite well with this. Can you imagine what it is? Yep, that's uh, <laughs> that's the, the pricing. So I'm probably going to revert uh, this to make it smaller. Premium plan like this. Center it. Let's put the pricing uh, either above or below. We can do something like that, something like this. And yeah, it's already looking better, but we want it a little bit smaller. And I'm probably going to change the style altogether of this one. So I'm going to unlink it. And uh, after selecting it, I need to put it all caps. Let's make it like this. A bit lighter. And uh, here we go. All right. Now at this point, we can uh, easily turn this uh, into a variant if we wish. So we're going to group it all together, turn it into a component and then variant. And here we go. We have our variant when it comes to the pricing as well. So I'm going to change the name, uh, the main group to pricing. I'm going to also change uh, the width of this variant right here. And I can create uh, all of the different uh, other plans. So for, for example, we can have uh, the luxury plan and uh, we can easily change uh, the icon from here. So this one is going to be like this. And let's go ahead and select also these other elements. This one's going to be uh, green. Or actually, let's uh, let's use another another icon for this case. Um, let's go with something around uh, uh, these lines. I'm going to change the color to this, and uh, this one's going to be one ninety nine a month. We're also going to add uh, a third plan, which is going to be the VIP plan. Oops, let's bring it here. And let's change uh, the icon of the VIP plan, which is going to be um, this one here. And uh, let's go ahead uh, and let's change uh, the color to this orange. All right, so as you can see, we can uh, easily uh, create a different type of pricing plans. Now let's add some properties, these variables. So this one uh, is going to be um, plan type equal premium. I'm going to copy him uh, and uh, paste the same name, but we're going to change this to luxury. We're going to copy and paste the same name, but change this to VIP. All right, so 
let's reduce uh, the size of these uh, variants right here and uh, as you can see since we've done this and we renamed the variants we're going to essentially be able well first of all let's <laughs> move this drop down and uh, as you can see we're going to have the pricing right here in the, our ui components the moment i drag it i also have this plan type uh, which is essentially the name uh, of uh, the variant that we just created now i have premium luxury and vip and if i uh, if i have these pricing plans in 10 screens uh, throughout the app or, or in a project uh, i can simply change this free and it's going to be uh, automatically changed in all of the screens that have these components. This is the power of variants. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I want to remind you that on my channel I have uh, over 500 videos sharing my over decade of experience in UI UX design. So feel free to check them out if you're interested in more of this and I'll see you in the next video.